In this video, I'll show you how to record your computer screen using the scripts free screen recorder. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use it in the script for Windows. Welcome to this video. My name is David. If you get value from this video, kindly consider liking the video and sharing it with your friends so that we can all learn together. Now, this script has evolved from a transcription application to a video editing application by editing the text to a podcasting application. But one of the key features that it has is the ability to record your screen. Now, before we record our screen, I'd like us to look at uh, the plans available. And if you're on the free plan, that is uh, you pay zero dollars per month, uh, you go for you have free screen recording for li and limited editing. You can re record, edit, mix one project and about 20 screen recordings of 720p maximum resolution. And you also have three hours of transcription. That is one time. The creator option, uh, and this is if you pay for this uh, monthly, is $15 a month uh, with all the things inside the free and unlimited projects, uh, 10 hours of transcription, etc. And for the, 30, uh, for the $30 per month, which is the pro version, you get everything in here, including Overdub, Fill Awards Pro, Audiogram Pro, Publisher Pro, uh, Batch File Export, etc. But uh, for the purposes of this video, we just want to record our screen and the script is available for Windows and Mac. So if you want to record your screen on Mac, uh, then this is going to work for you. The reason why we're going to be using the script is because the screen recorder inside the script allows you to enable automatic transcription of your screen recording, which is really awesome uh, because that is one of the things that maybe if you wanted to finish up your project, that is once you edit your video, to have everything ready, the video, the transcript, the captions, all at once, then the script is the only option that I know of that's available uh, for you to do that. So uh, we're going to configure our screen recorder, that is the script screen recorder, and you can either click on file and to, cr uh, to create a new screen recording, just click on uh, control shift two or just click on this. And once you click on that, it might prompt you to start uh, recording. You can either drag or uh, to record part of a screen or press the space bar or click uh, to record the full screen. Now, I'll discourage you not to do this first. Let's just press on escape. And the reason why I've done that is so that we can configure the recording setup. So you need to go to uh, your task bar and then look for this particular icon, uh, the descript icon, and then just click on it once. Once you click on it, you're going to see this particular interface. And this interface uh, has everything you need to know. So the screen, the camera, ETC. So the recording setup, for example, the camera that is uh, by default selected is my Logitech C920. But there are different cameras that you can select from depending on what you have. For example, this is my laptop. And if I click on it, you'll see a difference in the picture quality down here. So you can know how you're going to position your camera and everything. Uh, but let's go back to the Logitech C920. It has a better picture. You can zoom in ATC. And then we also have the option to uh, set our input for a microphone. So uh, you can either do same as system microphone for the C920. Uh, and uh, depending on the mics that you've attached to your computer, set what you want. And for this one, I have the analog one plus two. Focus right USB, but that generally means my microphone here is an Audio Technica AT2020 that is going through uh, the Focusrite Scarlett Solo uh, into my computer, and that's why we have this Focusrite USB. So that's selected, and you'll see some quotation marks here. That's because I've enabled transcription. If I click on Disable, then you can disable that. You can also enable computer audio if you wanted to record some audio on your computer, but I don't want to do that. So I'll just click on transcription enabled. Now you can start your screen recording if you want to, but if you wanted to add some few other configurations, these three dots is where you can do that from. Just click on that, click on preferences. And uh, from the preferences, you can set the start and stop recording hotkeys that you want to use. And by default to start and stop the screen recording, uh, use control shift two. Uh, it can run in the background, launch at login, transcribe audio, flip camera, for example, this is the default view of this particular camera, but this is a flipped view of the camera. So really depending on what you want, 
Uh, we also have the quality that you can set. And as I've mentioned, if you're on the free plan, you only get up to 720p. Uh, this is the highest quality they are going to, but maybe uh, they might be doing 4K soon. Who knows? Then they also there's also the 480p. But let's say we stick with the default quality of 1080p, which my uh, Logitech C920 can record. And then where to save uh, the particular files is in David's drive. Uh, you can create different drives uh, here if you wanted to. But uh, let's say that is all we wanted to do. So let's just go back. And uh, if you want to start our recording, just click on this button or control shift plus two. And let's begin. Now, you have to drag or record, uh, drag to record part of the screen, press space or click to record full screen. I'll just click inside here so that we can record our full screen. Now, let's just click on that. Uh, and you'll see that it started recording here. You'll see an orange like box rectangle that surrounds the whole area, the, the recording area. Uh, you can move uh, your particular webcam uh, in real, real time, depending on what you're doing. You can move it to the other side. You can move it down here, whatever you want to do. Let's say it's obscuring something and you want to do that live, you can do that. Uh, so let's just do a dummy screen recording. Uh, let's say we are explaining Descript's uh, pricing structure to somebody that has never used Descript. So Descript is an audio uh, and transcription, captioning, video editing, podcasting application, uh, blah, 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 explain whatever you want to explain. Uh, and uh, you'll see the different plans available. You can choose an annual plan. That is you pay uh, annually or monthly. And when you choose uh, the annual plan, you save 20% with the annual plan. Uh, that is if you're going to be using it monthly, uh, then you save some money. Now, there, uh, there are a couple of different plans, the free, the creator, the pro, and the enterprise. Depending on your needs, you can go for each, uh, for any of the, uh, the plans that are available. But if you just wanted to test it out, you can go for the free plan. Everything inside here can help you get the feel and look of the script. So you can download for free. Uh, if you already used it for a while, then you can opt for the uh, creator plan. And this is uh, the yearly, uh, it's $12. Uh, for the pro, if you have uh, more than 10 hours of transcription per month, really depends on what you're looking for. Uh, and remember that screen recordings is available. The enterprise is if uh, you're doing a lot of work and all that. So you can still scroll down to see uh, the key features, a screen recording, transcription, collaboration, editing, uh, creator annual. You can also look at the creator monthly. Uh, that is... Uh, what uh, you want to do it's uh, the editors only pay so that uh, we can say that uh, this is what you can uh, be saving this is how much it's going to cost you if you have people invited to the different plans etc and then you can just see the pricing faq if that is something that you're into uh, especially if you want to cancel your uh, plan etc so if that is all you are doing for that particular screen recording then we can end the recording by pressing on control shift and two and our recording is going to be done. So uh, if we go back to this particular, uh, let's say we just click on this, this particular interface, you'll see that there's a screen recording with a question mark. Chances are this particular screen recording uh, is rendering and it's done. So we can just close this one out here uh, less than a minute ago and there are different things you can copy the link edit or even just click on these dots to delete but we don't want to delete our particular screen recording let's say we just click on it and once we click on it it's going to populate inside uh, a window up here uh, and this is the uh, option to share now the screen recording is uploading it's at 23 percent so you can see what is going on in real time as everything processes as everything starts to come by as you want it to be. Depending on the length of your screen recording, this may take a short or a long time, and you may need to go get a cup of coffee, do whatever you want, uh, depending on the length uh, of your screen recording. If you have a two hour screen recording, then obviously that means that you're going to need to take some time off, go relax and do whatever you want until this is done. So. If you look at uh, down here, we have keyboard shortcuts. This option here is to share. Uh, it's uploading. 
So once it's done, what is going to happen is that it's going to populate uh, automatically transcribe transcript down here. So you need to give it time for, especially if you enable transcription uh, for your screen recordings, for it to complete the process so that you can enjoy the feature of automatic transcription for your screen recording inside Descript. So I think we're going to just give it a couple of seconds until it's done. So it's almost done uploading. Uh, so let's, let's just give it a couple of uh, more seconds. And once it's done uploading, it's going to populate our uh, transcript down here, uh, so right on. And uh, you can actually even download the particular screen recording and you'll see the transcript as it is. So we can just play uh, for a short clip uh, and you'll see that it started recording here. You'll see an orange like box rectangle that surrounds the whole area the kind of the recording area uh, you can move uh, your particular webcam now it's done it, it has done the screen recording and the auto transcription in real time for you to be able to use your screen recordings or edit your screen recordings then you need to go back uh, to this particular interface and click on edit once you click on edit you're going to get a pop-up that is going to pop up with all your content uh, that's available and uh, you can just uh, move this up to the start so that you can correct any uh, errors that you see remove the filler words if you want to uh, really depends on what you want you can also move this to the side so that you see uh, a bigger area of your screen recordings that's available for you uh, and then uh, do any changes that you want and once you're satisfied with your changes then you can share your content let's say export if you wanted to export the text the subtitles the audio the video uh, a section a gif etc really depends on what you're looking for so that is how you can use the script for windows or for mac to record your computer screen uh, step by step and have the uh, screen recording automatically transcribed using the script that's it from me I hope this video has been of value to you and that you're going to employ what you've learned in this video to uh, improve on your screen recordings uh, and also share knowledge with others. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you for watching this video.